Adolescence is a transitional period of physical and psychological development between childhood and maturity. According to the World Health Organization, adolescents are between the ages of 10 and 19. Adolescents go through many experiences in which, if not properly managed, they end up becoming victims of harassment or abused in different forms. These were the bitter experiences of four ladies who were victims of rape, sexual harassment, thereby forcing them to become teenage mothers. I'm going to go the time I knew the the time I first met her, I can't tell her because I'm a The time I knew her, I talked to her as well. They are not suspecting me that, ah, this girl, your stomach is coming out, your stomach is coming out. I said, I don't have any. She said, you have pregnant. I said, I don't have any pregnant. I was thinking that time. She called me inside the hospital and said, I don't know if you are pregnant. And they called me one doctor. And after the doctor said, I'm in four months pregnant. Few years ago, but well, thank God I'm alive today because I have so many testimonies. But I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't know, know what to say all this, but I just thank God that today I'm alive. I have some challenges, many challenges, but God spared my life today. I'm alive and I thank God, I thank, I thank God for, 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 for the mother that God gave to me. <laughs> I was pregnant. He took me to a um, to a hospital around there. Um, okay, you know. the woman said my that is already seven months that I can't abort it again. Delivered the baby. I delivered it by myself. My God, please. So, but this, uh, when I delivered baby, my baby was a month a, a month old when my mom. I should go and do my wife because my daddy even want, did not even want me to do it. But I give God all the Their parents, especially their mothers, were not even spared of the traumas. <laughs> An adolescent reproductive expert and a medical consultant, Dr. Tunde Olofimbi, Describe the challenges faced by adolescents in the area of sexual harassment as alarming and needed urgent attention by parents and government alike. The adolescents are neglected. They are dying. They are the needy segment of any community. They consider the bedrock of any society. Raped adolescent girls, they are in town. They are being raped every day. So, they are there. So what should we do? Are, that means there are still some segment of them that need immediate help. They are pregnant. So what do we do about them? So we first undo them. Another medical practitioner, Dr. Dele Atiba, who said that the problem faced by adolescents were multidimensional, ranging from societal failure, government failure to produce adolescent-friendly hospital, among others. In the life of adolescents, like I said, because they are the bridge. That's the time when hormones begin to, to come up and down. That's when they begin to develop sexually, mentally, physically, and socially. So, when they are not patterned, when they are not guided, then they take wrong steps. Are we, are we, are we still our brother's keeper? When we see kids doing wrong things, do we correct them? In fact, do we have societal values again? When we see 19-year, 14-year-old doing yahoo yahoo, riding, riding big cars, that's how it starts. You understand what I'm trying to say? Then the government as well. Is the government doing what they ought to do? Do we have adolescent-friendly hospitals in Nigeria, in Ekiti State? Some well-meaning Nigerians, including the chairman, Ekiti State Independent Electoral Commission, Justice Dubril, Aladijano retired. Superb chairman, Professor Francisca Aladijano, 
and the Olumojo of Imojo, said society must be proactive on how to punish the perpetrators of gender-based violence and not just focus on the victims. We have spoken to today who are victims, but there's the other side of it, the people who perpetrated what has happened to these children. We should not blame anybody, particularly the children. I think there's a lot that needs to be done by the parents in terms of communication and bringing values and certain parameters for their children. If that is done, this to a large extent might reduce what we are seeing now. Now, it's at the heart of us in Sube. And interestingly too, the first lady of the state is also interested in sex education. So, on our part, we will look at a way where we can get a do free, where if there is a way we can get this their initiative to be more exposed. They were of the opinion that if adolescents were focused on and assisted to manage their stage of growth, they will become responsible adults for a better society. Tosinolo reporting.